I'm Ann Webb, Policy Director with Common Cause North Carolina, and these are five things you need to know about North Carolina politics this week. Number one, the week began with the North Carolina House seemingly poised to take up and push through Senate Bill 749, a proposal that would make radical changes to elections boards. Senate Bill 749 would strip the governor's and local political parties' power to appoint members to the state and county boards of elections and hand that authority over to legislative leaders. The bill could mire our election system in politically motivated gridlock because it creates even numbers of election board members, but provides no mechanism for resolving tie votes on those boards. Common Cause and our democracy partners held an emergency press conference to speak out against the legislature's attempted power grab. This legislature wants to use the term election integrity to rationalize their efforts to suppress voters. That same day, Senate Bill 749 was removed from the House Rules Committee's agenda as protests mounted. But the politicians promoting this bad bill say they'll still try to pass Senate Bill 749 in the week ahead. We need your help to defeat this attack on our election system. Go to ccnc.me slash our votes and tell your House member to vote no on Senate Bill 749. Number two. Meanwhile, Republican legislative leaders are still likely to try overturning Governor Roy Cooper's veto of Senate Bill 747. That bill would create harmful barriers to voting in North Carolina, especially hurting people who rely on voting absentee by mail as a lifeline for exercising their freedom to vote. Number three, North Carolina has been without a new state budget for more than two months now, while wrangling happened behind closed doors between Republican House and Senate leaders. The delay has blocked much needed pay raises for teachers and disrupted life-saving Medicaid expansion for hundreds of thousands of North Carolinians. When a final budget is released, we at Common Cause will be looking closely to see whether critical elections funding is included. Number four, if the legislature passes a budget in the coming week, the regular legislative session may soon wrap up, but lawmakers will be back as soon as October for a special session focused on drawing new congressional and legislative voting districts. This newest round of redistricting comes after Republican legislators earlier this year convinced a new Republican majority on the state Supreme Court to shatter settled law and overturn a ban on partisan gerrymandering, giving lawmakers a pass to draw new maps. Stay tuned for much more to come on the redistricting front as we at Common Cause and our democracy partners mobilize people across North Carolina to speak out against against racist and partisan gerrymandering. Number five, our Unite NC Town Hall Tour rolls on across North Carolina. Next up, we travel east to Greenville on Monday, Scotland Neck on Tuesday, Rocky Mount on Wednesday, and Wagram on Thursday. Learn more and find a Unite NC Town Hall near you at ccnc.me slash Unite NC. Those were five things you need to know about North Carolina politics this week. Join us online anytime at commoncausenc.org.